had a very interesting conversation the other day that just brought me back, you know. I've been uh, working on some family stuff up in my hometown, and the other day we were having a garage sale, and it was pretty dead, a very, very dead day. Not a lot of people came out, but one person came out, like this very young LGBTQ plus person um, who had just, I think in the last year, graduated high school, but uh, we had like a very long conversation about being LGBTQ plus, growing up in a rural area, the different things that we have had to navigate, and like just having the conversation with this person, I literally felt like I, I was kind of having a conversation with myself at age 19 or 20, and I just, I couldn't help but think that I wish that I was as brave when I was that age as this person is now, this person who has moved out of the family, who's found their own home and created a space, and I never did that when I was that young because I was very much too scared to. And of course, like, I don't, I mean, I don't really feel a lot of shame about that, but I, I just feel like a lot of LGBTQ plus people living in rural America just end up clinging to these rafts in the middle of a vast ocean of bigotry. And whenever I see one of them flourishing, like it, is so wholesome to me and and I'm glad that in my hometown there are thriving LGBTQ plus people because even now when I go back home I don't always feel safe I don't always feel welcome and just a person visiting a garage sale um it just it felt it felt Good to be able to see someone flourishing in that space where I wanted to flourish at one point in my life. Anyway, but, and interestingly, like this person also went to my high school and corroborated the fact that things have not improved there since I was in high school. So I don't know, like, I really think that a lot of bullying still takes place and the reason why that is, is because the community still doesn't hold people accountable when they exert bigoted behavior. And of course, I know this is pretty universal in most of rural America, so maybe the more LGBTQ plus people, the more people who are in marginalized communities who can flourish in that type of setting, maybe they can be living examples. They can be representation. It's all we can do, really. Anyway, I love you. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.